I'm Karen Holzberger with Good Nuance. I'm dual. Great to have you here. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Excellent here at the Sunday of RSNA talking about AI for all and making AI accessible to the radiologists so they augment their work. And talking about the role of NVIDIA, maybe you want to show a little bit about um, the development of algorithms and then we can talk about the marketplace and the practical use cases. Absolutely. There's a ton of opportunities for learning to come into the clinic. We'd like to actually provide a way for physicians to get engaged in the definition of these algorithms and then bringing them all the way to their clinic. So this is a tool, Digits, from NVIDIA. It's meant to make um, deep learning accessible. So with a few clicks, you're actually able to create a data set, which um, is as simple as specifying direct, uh, directories where you can actually put your data and labels for them. And once you have it, you're able to train. So right here, we're not. We're going to skip training. Um, and uh, we have two pre-trained models. One of them is from OSU, uh, Ohio State University, for head CT clinical findings. The other one is from AG from MGH. And once you've trained the model through digits, um, you'll be able to actually view the progress of it, how it's converging. In this case, we're looking at the CT critical finding exam and find it converge. And one, what the beautiful about the thing that we've done together is once you've actually trained this model, you're able to publish it to Nuance um, AI uh, marketplace. marketplace. All right. so That's great, now making it accessible. So you've got the def definition and the development and now the publishing, so then a user can then subscribe to it and actually use it. Absolutely, let's do that. Here it's RSMA. Publishing? So what happens right here out of the training uh, environment is you get two things to happen. One of them is to actually publish the model into the AI marketplace so that users can see it and select and subscribe to it. But we also stand up a service. Right? So the future, if you think about the future of AI, I think we're going to have thousands of algorithms that get developed. And you need a way to manage these algorithms and how you're running them on the limited resources that you have. So NVIDIA put together a tester on our team in order to do this deployment. What's happening right now is it's taking the model, it's actually standing up a REST service that anybody can ping with just images and get the inference back. And this inference was just stood up right now. So if we go over to the PowerShare website, so if you were an admin, you'd be able to just log in and select the AI service. Services Marketplace off the PowerShare network. All right. Let's see, is our model in here? Should be. There you go. CT of the head. So now you're going to subscribe to it as a user. Absolutely. And typically, we'd be able to also set up routing rules, right? So we believe that all the CT of the head needs to go through, we'd be able to set up automatic routing into the service that we just created. But for the purposes of this demo, we're going to do it manually. And before I do that, I'd like to sort of bring your attention here. So remember how I said there were services that were launched in the background yes. of the different uh, models and how they're running? This is actually a visualization of what these services are doing and how they're getting pinged with different images and then the feedback that they're providing. So mm -hmm. it looks like this was a normal case. So in here, we're going to send a different case. Let's see if we can find one. Let's see, team. What about... Um, Pick yours. How about how much? Right. Which is a pretty serious case. That is a serious case. Hopefully it'll be flagged as a critical case by the model. For the one that we just published, right. and send it for analysis. So what's happening in the background now? All the data uh, that we have for this study is being packaged up in a way that it can get sent into the um, inference engine, and we'll get to see it in a second right now. But while it's getting processed, we might want to move on to the um, to the marketplace, marketplace and practical use cases, so we can drive adoption of AI algorithms. Absolutely. How it's being now the algorithm has been published from the um, NVIDIA solution into the AI marketplace and now looking at practical use cases such as workless prioritization. Right, we maybe want to show a little bit more. Sure. So, what you're looking at is the PowerShell 360 work list and this work list has head CTs which have been in the routine priority and all this are being going through the AI algorithm which will process, and if there is a critical finding, they'll get elevated into superstat status. And as you can see, 
hemorrhage case is already prioritized as superstat. And as the other studies are submitted, depending upon the critical findings, it's going to resort itself. So, Greg, how do, you, how do you know that the machine's actually done something? How did the algorithm? There's a so, when icon. you look at the icon, the bulb, light bulb shows what AI processing has done. I mean, these are the studies which have gone through AI, and out of the three studies it has processed, we have one of the study already prioritized as high, super stat. And this is really the tool that the radiologist decide what study he should be interpreting next based on the patient needs and his backlog of work. Exactly. So, I mean, patient care will dramatically improve because they will be able to read most critical ones first, as opposed to trying to sift through a lot of markers. Maybe we want to show a little bit about Bone Age 2? Sure. So we will use the model, Bone Age model, which has been created by MGH and published through NVIDIA Digits platform in the AI marketplace. And we will show you So here are the images which are available for studies for bone age. And I'm going to pick one study. Then submit for AI service. You come in and then select the MGH bone age model. Send to AI analysis. So this kind of manual submission is there only for demonstration purposes. Our AI marketplace allows automatic rules due based on the study type to which algorithm it needs to be submitted can be pre-programmed. So all the rules can be set up such that the institution algorithms will send it to the right algorithm and the right study. Right, so this has been submitted. Then we can go back, this results once they come back, you go into PowerSky 360. So in PowerSky 360, you the results, AI results are already populated. So as you can see, the bone age algorithm is already provided to, uh, it's a sex female and seven years old is the information that's provided. And the clinical guidance, you can see gender and bone age and other things. These are AI findings already pre-populated in the clinical guidance. And radiologists got this seven years age but they have the range of age range to pick. Looking at the images based on uh, their age, they can pick an image. And then that will update this findings, the impression, which can be automatically inserted into the report. Right, what's so, very important about this is that they'd have to go through many more studies or the images within that study. We've now narrowed where they should be looking based on where the machine made the recommendations about the age of that child. And when you sign this report, uh, finalize. So once the study is completed, this report is completed, and then you get to send the data, the discrete data which has been captured and modified to ACR registry. You have witnessed it will improve significantly the productivity for the radiologist, improves the quality of the reporting, and ultimately improves the patient outcome. Right, so that's what we are driving at, and this augments radiologist workflow with more intelligence with assistance from software. So we've seen a ton of algorithms being developed. We've seen a ton of physicians interested in directing the direction of these algorithms and the use cases that they have. And I think with our partnership that we've seen here, we've connected world-class training platform to the world-class reporting platform. 70% of the radiologists right. I can't think of anything more exciting. No, it's such great innovation that we've started that will continue for us about connecting.
connecting the developers of algorithms to the subscribers of algorithms and then putting them into practical use cases that actually drive improved patient care and better health. I look forward to it. I know. It's excellent. Right. excellent. Thank you.